y'all. I've got something special to share with y'all today. Right here is my whole bone collection. I have found these skulls and these bones from around my house in the woods behind my house. And what you see here is a raccoon skull. I did a little bit of internet research. I looked up some skulls to compare with the one that I found in the woods. And this one looks exactly like the raccoon skulls that I found online. I think this skull is pretty interesting, especially since most of the teeth are still intact from this top part of the skull. It's really interesting. And I am very happy that I was able to find that. This right here is a turtle shell that I found. I found it in the field in front of my house. I only have half the shell here, but it was still a really cool find. Oh, did you know that turtles and tortoises, when you touch their shells, they can feel it? I used to think that they couldn't feel anything through their shells. And what you see here is a deer, deer jaw that I found in the woods. It looks like it came from a baby deer because the teeth in the very back haven't even come up yet through the jaw. But it's really interesting. I was really excited when I found this. And take a look at those teeth. Very cool. And I don't know what animal this came from, but what excited me about this bone was the claw and teeth marks on it. I thought it looked really cool. I wonder what animal made these marks. I don't know, but I decided to keep this bone and add it to my bone collection. Here's a closer look. Really cool. Now this next skull I had found a couple of years ago with my nephews when we were in the woods and this belonged to a possum. I looked online and I compared with other skulls and I came to the conclusion that it was a possum skull. One way that you can really tell is the arch on top of the skull. Possums have that arch there, or I think it's called a crest, not an arch. But again, I didn't find the jawbone, but I did find the top part, which I think is definitely one of the more interesting bones of the possum skeleton. There's even a couple teeth in there. This next one is a rodent skull. I'm not sure if it's a mouse or a little squirrel, uh, maybe a chipmunk. I, I don't know what it came from, but it looks really cool. I found it in my backyard. I mean, look at those front teeth. And I did find another rodent skull, but this one I believe belonged to a squirrel. And I found that in the field in front of my house, the same place that I found the turtle shell. My camera didn't want to focus, so that's why I keep moving my hand and pressing the button to try to get it to focus better.
Well, these are all the bones that I have collected and I hope to have find more. I hope to see y'all in another video. Bye.